logarithm to the base of 10 square root and cube root transformation in R statistics and inverse log 10 square root and cube root logarithm to the base of 10 and inverse or anti logarithm to the base of 10 in R statistics log 10 transformation is one of the method that can be used for uh, attempting to convert or transform data that are not normally distributed to become normally distributed as uh, uh, normal distribution is one of the prerequisite or assumption for parametric test in statistics. So logarithm to the base of 10 is one of the uh, methods among several methods that can be used to attempt to convert the data to become normally distributed. Here in R studio, I will generate a variable and give it a name which is data1 um, and insert in that variable several different values uh, from 0.5 to 10 thousands. To do that first type data in this cursor here data1 and uh, then use the assignment operator. Uh, then insert the C for combine open a bracket so we are going to generate a vector and give it a, a label or a name data1 and inside that uh, bracket insert the value 0.5 then 1 then 10 followed by 20 so insert each value followed by a comma within the bracket then 40 after 40 100 and then 1000 4000 and finally 10000 so now we're going to generate a variable it has a name or a label in it data one and these are the values within that variable if I hit enter and to view the scores within this variable just type data1 and the value is shown here to perform logarithm to the base of 10 just type log and then select the logarithm to the base of 10 and in between the bracket insert the data1 and hit enter each value within that vector or that variable is transformed based on the logarithm to the base of 10 as shown here for logarithm of uh, uh, 1 is 0 for 10 is 1 and for 100 is 2 for 1000 is 3 and for 10,000 is 4 so this is the way to do log 10 transformation in R. To do inverse or anti logarithm to the base of 10, first of all, we need to generate uh, the outcome of uh, transforming this data, data 1, into uh, a vector and give it a label. Uh, let's uh, name the outcome as y, then I use the assignment operator and uh, or to the right of the assignment operator insert the log to the base of 10 and in between the brackets uh, type the data 1 as from this command the outcome of the logarithm of 10 or to the base of 10 for data 1 will be assigned to a new variable called y now to do the inverse log 10 and as known that logarithm to the base of 10 is based on 10 so we insert the figure 10 and use to the power simple and then insert y and if you hit enter the data is reverted back to the original 
square root transformation and inverse square root in R statistics. Here in this R studio, first of all, I will generate a data in a variable and give that variable a name, which is called here uh, data one. And in that uh, variable, which is labeled as data one, I will insert several uh, values or scores in it. The way to do that is to type data one in the cursor here, data one, and then use the assignment operator to assign and generate a vector by inserting the C field for compine and then insert a bracket and inside the bracket insert the following number. And I'm going to in insert these numbers one. Each number is followed by a comma. Uh, number one and then two then four then 16 then 32 64 each number is inserted has to be followed by comma and then two five six and finally six five five three six hit enter to view the data within this uh, uh, vector or variable just type data one and hit enter the data is viewed from 1 to 65536 to do square root transformation in R studio for these data one type square root open a bracket and inside that bracket insert the variable or the data by typing data one hit enter a square root for each value within that variable is generated so the data is transformed as shown here that the square root for four is two and for 16 is 4 and for 64 is 8 and for um, um, 256 it is 16 and so on so this is the way to transform the data using square root transformation and to do the inverse square root transformation uh, first of all we'll uh, generate a variable and we will call it y and that variable will contain the outcome of the square root for data one so type here y then use the assignment operator and to the right of the assignment operator type square root open a bracket and then insert the data one so this uh, command here is telling the software that uh, um, the outcome of the square root of the data one will be assigned to a variable labeled as y. If I hit enter and then type y to view it, we can see now y contains the outcome of the square root for data one. To do the inverse square root, insert type here and then to the power and then two so the data is reverted back to the original cube root and inverse cube root in r statistics in this r studio console i will generate a variable and give it a name of x and then within that variable i'm going to insert certain values and these values will be transformed using the cube root command and the way to do that is to type here x then the assignment operator and then insert c for compine to generate a vector open a bracket and i will insert the value or the following values 0.9 and each value is separated by comma 2 4 8 64 
5,000, 9,000, 27,000. Hit enter to view the data within this variable. Just type X and hit enter. The data is shown. To do cube root transformation for this data in R, insert X and then insert the symbol 4 to the power. Open a bracket, insert 1 over 3 for cube root. Hit enter. A cube root transformation is performed for each individual value within the vector or the variable as the cube root for 8 is 2 and for 64 is 4 and for 27,000 is 30. To uh, perform the inverse of cube root or anti-cube root, first of all we need to generate a, a variable and in that variable insert in it the outcome of the cube root uh, transformation for the uh, uh, vector which is labeled as x and the way to do that is to generate a new variable and call it y and then use the assignment operator and to the right of the assignment operator type the x to the power and then open a bracket 1 over 3 close the bracket so this function will assign and generate a variable which is labeled y and in that variable the data for the x uh, variable or vector will be transformed using the cube root if i hit enter and then type y the data is viewed now y has the cube root transformation of the variable x to uh, inverse cube root just um, type y to the power of 3 and hit enter the data is reverted back to the original 